Good morning, everyone. It's Allison Salvin with Stamp Crazy with Allison, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Westminster, British Columbia, which is a suburb of Vancouver, so on the west coast of Canada. So I'll just wait for you guys to pop on. I can't wait to make a project with you today. I'm going to use the Texture Chic, which I haven't used on um, a lot yet. I don't think. I've used maybe some of the paper, but I'll just wait for you guys to join and while I'm waiting I'm going to make sure that I am actually broadcasting because sometimes you know these things are weird so let me just see if I am live and you can hear me <clears throat> ah. I'm live in terms of picture oh good I'm you can hear me too Wow, excellent. I just dropped something. Big boom on my floor here. Hi, Diane. Hi, Keisha. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good. I'm glad you can hear me. Yeah, I just double checked, Cindy, and I'm okay. I don't, I rarely have it where I, you know, that goes wrong. Sorry, I'm bending over <laughs> to stand a whole thing up of paper that fell over. Um, I'm usually pretty good at the, at the, um, audio, but I did have one a couple weeks ago where I wasn't on. Okay, well, thanks for coming, you guys. Hi, Joanne. Oh, I'm so glad you came today. Yay! Happy Sunday, everybody. I am excited to stamp today. Shall we? Let's do this. And I'll just tell you about a couple of things um, before we get started stamping. You may or may not have noticed, but I wanted to let you know, I, I am hoping to get out a newsletter today. Good morning, Valerie. Good morning, Donna. Um, Tuesday. Tuesday, the 21st of June, which is the first day of summer, unless you're in Vancouver. <laughs> it's just, we keep waiting for summer, but it's not coming. Anyway, good news. Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping on all orders of $100 or more just for the 24 hours of the day. So um, if you want to place an order in my store, I really appreciate it. Or I'm happy to order for you if, you'd, um, if you're not familiar with the online ordering or you're not comfortable using it. I can put the order in for you and ship it directly to your door. So that's exciting, right? Uh, if you live in the United States, of course, please um, reach out to my partner there, Patsy Wagner, who is in Minnesota. And uh, she's at stamps2die4.com. And you'll see that information on this video of where to shop with her. So it's $75 US, $100 Canadian is the minimum. Okay, but you're going to save um, a lot on that free shipping. It's great to have free shipping. Hi, Wendy. Uh, that's one thing. Catalogs. If you are an active customer of mine and live in Canada, you will have or will be receiving the brand new mini catalog for July to uh, December and this celebration catalog, which starts in July and August. So that's fun. You got your caddies? Oh, good, Diane. Yeah, they. I mailed them, I think it was on Thursday afternoon and people locally were getting them on Friday. So way to go Canada Post. That's really great. <laughs> now some of them will be coming, uh, they're all coming by Canada Post, but some are coming through a mailing um, service and some I mail directly. So um, I just like to kind of mix it up so that I at least half of my group get them and if I have to replace them then it's not, I don't put all my eggs in one basket so to speak. Long story. Okay. Remember when you order from Patsy or I, in our online stores, we have reward programs. The one that we share is a free PDF with six cards featuring our suite of the month. And in June, it's Hues of Happiness. I love that. I've had two classes with it and we used it as our border buddy free PDF. And it's it's beautiful. You can never run out of ideas. It's just so gorgeous. So remember that any value of any order we're going to send that to you by, by email. And my program in Canada, for every $25 that you spend, you get a punch on a punch card. And when your punch card is full, you get a $25 little certificate to, 
to spend on a stamp set of your choice. So don't forget that, especially with, and that counts for the free shipping day. So if, if you bought $100 on free shipping, you're going to get four punches and your PDF. So there you go. All right, shall we get started? Let's get started on stamping, right? Okay. I'm going to wheel myself over here. So the Season of Chic stamp set, we're using the Texture texture Chic Suite. It's hard to say. It's in the annual catalog. And what we've got is this beautiful stamp set, which I think we can still see. Got to keep it in. Yeah. And then we've got dies to match. And I've taken some of the dies out of the case because I'm going to be using them today. So we've got this seashell and this little conch and another seashell. Now this one cuts out the actual seashell images, which are fun. We've got this really cool, it's almost like a netting, you know, like a fish net almost. And then this gorgeous, I guess I'm going to call it a leaf. What I love about this is we've got all the seasons here, or most of them, right? We've got the seashore, which is very you know, apropos for living in Vancouver. We've got the snowflake uh, for winter. We've got these beautiful flowers for summer, spring. And then we've got the leaves for summer and fall. And beautiful sayings. Wishing you the best birthday ever. But I love that it's got the fonts that are half written, like script, and then the reg mixed in with the regular uh, font, the, you know, sans serif type font. Uh, let's see, you make each season of life even more beautiful, thinking of you, love, love the big thanks. And actually these images on the case are smaller than the actual images. And we're gonna play with them and you'll see what I mean. Any questions? We're still good morning? Okay. Hi Jacqueline, hi Janet. Okay, I think I'm up to date. So that's the stamps and the dies are called chic dies, okay? Now, I always say this, um, but I always find the designer series paper to be the star of any show in any suite. So look at these beautiful papers. Look at these beautiful colors. Lots of gold uh, embossed. Look at this. I love this one. Seashells. Just really muted, right? Gorgeous. So that's the one side. And then let's flip this over. Get the other side. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the gold accents on them. Now I've cut this down to six by six just for display purposes for my lives. It's actually 12 by 12 paper and you get two of each, two of each double sided. Good morning, Mo. Okay. Now even better, we've got our designer series paper, but this is gorgeous and I need to get the right name of what this is. So let me grab my catalog let's open it to texture chic here's the whole suite here on page 98.99 here it is right here it is gorgeous it is distressed gold 12 by 12 specialty paper and i don't think you can see how well you can i can see on my screen that you can actually see how gorgeous it is is that beautiful it's just beautiful so this is almost looks like it's raised and then you know um up from the, the the rest and it's all shimmery and anyways it's gorgeous okay love the paper me too it is absolutely gorgeous paper you guys and you can use it with other things i made a card with you guys oof, a while ago and i actually pulled one of the designer series paper and used it with a totally different stamp set of course i can't remember what that is now maybe one of you can <laughs> all right so that's what we're going to use today i'm going to start with one of the colors that's in the DSP. If you're ever stuck about where to start on a project, here's what I do. If I want to use, let me grab this again. If I want to use a specific suite of products, what I do is I grab obviously the, the stamps and the dies. I grab the DSP. I look at the colors in the DSP and I put them out. I grab one piece of paper from each and I start there and I start playing with combinations. I find that if I do that, I can narrow down my focus. Because if you're like me, do you get like overwhelmed about what colors to use and, and what embellishments to use? I, I get quite bogged down sometimes. So if I make it simple for myself, 
um, and limit the colors and the choices. I find that's easier. So I started with the petal pink. So this is eight and a half by five and a half. We've scored it at four and a quarter and we're just going to give that a nice little crease. Okay. Now paper that I picked was that one that I loved. Now, when I first made my sample card, I used this side of the paper and I like it. I'll show you it later. But for today, I want to use this side. It's a little more muted. So I've just cut this one to uh, four by five and a quarter. So just a quarter inch shorter on all sides. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down. And yesterday I was playing and I thought, why are all these glues feel like they're full? And I usually pick the, you know, the little bit off that kind of dries at the end. But I had to actually poke all three of them and then they came gushing out. So I'm glad to see that I have more glue than I thought I did. But boy, that didn't last long, but it was just me. I have a friend who gave me a really good tip, by the way. If you ever find that I love both sides, it's hard to pick a side, isn't it, Cindy? My friend gave me a really good tip. So, you know, sometimes when you're squeezing and nothing's coming out here, she said it can be because there's a, like, almost like a vacuum. So if you lo if you loosen this end so that's not as tight, then it kind of releases this end, which was a good tip. Just be careful. It's not squirting out both ends there. All right. Next, I thought I'd like to use some crumb cake. Crumb is not gold and it's not pink, but it, it is such a neutral color that goes with so many things. So I pulled that color. And then one of the other colors, not in this particular uh, piece of DSP, but in the DSP offering is Pool Party. So I picked that. And then I've got an extra piece here of the petal pink. And then I had to use some of the gold. So that's sort of the palette that we're gonna work with today. Okay, let's put this aside and let's grab some of these dies and stamps. So let's start, I'm gonna stamp, I think first, that makes sense. So let's do that. What I've grabbed is the, um, I'll put this up so hopefully you can see it, the seashell, okay, which has got, uh, it's sort of a larger shape with sort of the, the uh, the the shell line I don't know what you call them but you know the the um the shell it looks like a real seashell is what I'm trying to say and then this one is is solid but it's only got a little bit okay so it's probably a, meant to be a two step stamp so you'd stamp this in a lighter color and then stamp the darker color on top but we're not going to do it that way today we're going to emboss so I was telling you last week or the other day about this fabulous new product that's coming in the mini catalog that you should be getting in the mail. It comes with a little paint brush so you can get rid of stray pieces of embossing powder. It comes with, this is the best, it comes with these um, tweezers and they're really substantial and really easy to use. And they've got kind of a matte finish here so they're, they're not slippy, which I like. And of course, it comes with an embossing buddy, which is extremely exciting because we haven't had it in a few years. Trust me, get it for the tweezers and the embossing buddy. And then we've got a tray um, to collect and to actually um, make it easier to collect our embossing powder. Now, I'm gonna do something. You can just put your embossing powder in here. And the other day I showed you a little tip where you take the um, uh, embossing buddy and if you kind of give it a rub around, it doesn't stick as much. But I want to just put, for today, I just want to put a little piece of um, paper in there. Because I want to get me able, I'm going to be doing a lot of them, well, some embossing. And I want to kind of gather it all on this one piece of paper. But you don't have to. So let's start by getting our border, our, our embossing buddy. So Patsy and I are border buddies, and I sometimes call it my border buddy, which is funny, but it's an embossing buddy. And we're doing this because when our natural oils from our fingers just transplant onto the paper, and then that, that embossing powder is going to stick where you don't want it to. Uh, does the stopper screw off? It actually screws off, which is an improvement, Jennifer. The old one that we used to have years ago had this little plug so you'd go 
you'd, you'd be trying to get the plug off without shaking it, right? But now it screws off, which is great. I have been doing this, though. I haven't actually been using it that way. I've been gathering it all in the corner and then just kind of putting it in like that. But to each his own, right? Okay, so I'm going to do my seashell on my pool party and my other seashell here it is on my petal pink and we're going to use gold because our accents on this paper are gold so that makes sense to me christmas season coming up and if you celebrate it's sort of the time when we all kind of emboss I love this. Look at this. Even I could have just flicked it, but this I like better because I'm not flicking off a lot of the embossing powder. So I like it better. A little missed a bit there. So there we go. Okay. Uh, for now, that's all I want to do. So I'm going to put my lid on and just set that aside for a sec. I will be bringing that back. And let's emboss this now. We've got our tweezers, which are fantastic. No more burnt fingers, right, you guys? This is a beautiful stamp for this gold to just pop off of, so. You still have the older style, Jennifer? Yeah. I do too, um, but this is, yeah, everything in this kit, this little embossing kit is fantastic. You have to get one, you guys. Because eventually your embossing buddy, even if you have one, will become like this one. I'll show you. This is a really old one. That's an old one, and this is a new one. So can you see that the powder is almost non-existent in this one? So you, by buying the kit, you're going to get a new one of these and then you'll, you'll have it when your other one kind of becomes depleted. So trust me. Isn't this gorgeous the way these just pop off, they pop out at you, gold, love it. Look at this one, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous. These images are really beautiful when they're embossed. Look at that. All right, so we got those two. And um, actually, I'm going to do one more. I forgot. I'm going to do the words. And I'm going to use that big thanks that we were talking about earlier. Let's do that. Now. When I add the embossing powder to this, you're going to see how much bigger the images are than they are displayed on the case. I believe in the catalog, they're the right image. I'll, I'm gonna go look right now because we kind of pride ourselves on that, that the images are the actual size. So we'll check that out in a second. Bring that in, where's my tweezers? Oh, I love my tweezers. Look at that. Isn't that great? So this is just done on crumb cake. Got the gold on the crumb cake. Love that. Look at that. Okay. see I used to use coffee filters for embossing while we'll be purchasing the kit yeah it is it is easier to get your embossing powder back in okay so those are our three we're going to be cutting those out and then from our, my crumb cake I'm going to be cutting out oop, this that large image we were talking about earlier and from the gold we're going to be cutting out a leaf okay all right, so let's get this show on the road in terms of die cutting. Let's move all of it. Oh, we said we would look in the catalog. Yeah, I lied. I said I would look in the catalog. 
and see about the images. I'm going to go to textured chic. Yeah. So these are the actual sizes, but you can see on the case that they're, they're represented in a smaller image, right? But that's the true size of the word thanks. I love that. Hi, Kathy. I'm glad you made it. You people are never late, you guys, because you can always watch the replay, right? So you're never late. And we can catch up. We're using um, the Texture Chic Suite today, Kathy. All right, so we've got our number three plate, gray. We've got our number two plate, clear. We've got our crumb cake and our net, so to speak. And you know, it's funny, you guys, because I was going to cut this earlier, this this image, and then <laughs> and then through the magic of television, bring it in, and I forgot. So that's okay. It does require when you're using the mini, it's going to require a little bit of poking, but that's okay. You forget to watch, yeah. Well, at least if you were watching me on a recording, you could zip by. Well, that's an advantage if you don't want to watch the whole thing but I appreciate you guys when you're live because then I have people to talk to and I'm not just talking to myself I'm going to leave this on here see how I did that I just left that on there right because I find it a little bit easier to just go around and go you know poke 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 this just takes a bit of time it's not the end of the world uh, my, my suspicion is and I should go prove it right now I can. I'm just going to do this, you guys. I'm going to take this as is over to my larger um, stamp and emboss machine, and I think I might get more out just because it's a heavier machine. So I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Bring my my um, boss machine over there, but it's too big. Just curious to see if it's um, just the nature of the die or whether it's the the um, weight of the machine. So yeah, they're falling out. Yeah, they're a little bit easier to fall out. Okay, so you can use either machine. Either machine will work. Um, you just have to do a little bit of poking. Oh yeah, that's really coming out. Let me use the bigger machine. Okay. Yeah, a little bit easier there. Anyway, we'll just poke away. No big deal. If you have um, the take a pick like this, and you've got the brush end with the little foam mat, you, you can rub it over and they'll all come out. I have it, and do you think I can find it? I redid my room a little while ago, and I thought, oh, yeah, I'll put all these together. That makes sense. You know, all these like items, and now I can't find some of them. So I hit them in my zest for cleaning up. That was pretty easy. Okay. Let's move over there. All right. We've got that piece out. So is that cool? That little net. I love it. I think I got them all out. Yeah. Okay. And surprisingly, I thought this would be hard to glue, but it's actually quite easy. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. Let's grab our other die cutting, the things that we're die cutting here. We've got our shell, our seashell. Okay. I love this gold on the on the um, the blue. It's so pretty. The notorious safe place. It's right, Donna. If we ever find the safe place, can you imagine what's in it? There's probably things that I put there 10 years ago and I go, oh, is that where that went? This safe place. <laughs> Good point. Oh dear. There are 19 dies. Thank you, Cindy. 19 dies are in this um, die set. Isn't that like an amazing value? So we'll put that over there. And it's the same die for the other one, the other um, shell that we did. So it's the same die. Cuts out both of them. Okay. 
go. I was thinking on your free shipping day, it would be a great time to get a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine if you don't have one. It'd be nice to save on that. And then we're going to cut. Oh, this is just the most gorgeous paper. It really, really is. Sorry if my screen shakes a bit. This is a kind of an old Ikea table. I've had this table for probably 20 years. And you know how they have the screw-in legs? And so sometimes it's not quite as stable as one would like. I'm going to actually cut another one of these in case I want to do two. I'm not sure. On my original card, I only put one. But that doesn't mean I can't have two on the final. Right? I can mix these things up as we go. Okay. So then I've got my leaf and my other leaf. Look at that paper. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's like gold gilding, right? And then I want to, um, from the tailor-made tags, now you guys have seen me use the tailor-made tags before, but let's just review. You get eight tags, ooh, here they are, in two different shapes. So let's have a look. We've got this sort of ornate kind of shape, more like a vintage shape. And then we've got what I would call a classic mail tag, you know, like a label. And they are, are four sizes of each, okay, with these little reinforcements that you can use too. So that's cool. I'm going to be using this one, sort of the, I think it's the third largest. Yeah, third largest with our thinks. Now it's just going to fit you guys. You are going to have to cut off just a titch at the end, but that's okay. So let's move this in. Carefully place our, get that going. It is a very, it, it, it writes in me, it is a really good deal with the <clears throat> dies and the stamps. Yeah, we all have a dreaded safe place. I'm telling you guys. It's, uh, it's a mystery where these things go. Okay, I think that's all my die cutting. I can put that aside. So there's my little tag. Now, I want to show you something I did yesterday. I'm not sure what I think about it. But I took this ribbon, which sort of looks like burlap. It is just natural finished ribbon. It's quite thick. It's seven eighths of an inch thick. And I actually stamped and embossed on it. Now you lose sort of the gold gilding or the, you know, it's not really like a embossed, but it ends up being gold anyway. And I thought it was kind of cool. Sort of looks nice for the theme. So um, maybe we'll decide what we like better. Um, maybe I'll use this one on the card and you can see the original with the tag because I do like the tag. <clears throat> All right, bring back our card that we were working on. So we need our little fishnet. Yeah, you can stamp on this, you guys. So if you have, I was thinking like um, early espresso would be nice on this, wouldn't it? Or black. But I actually did Versamark and emboss this. Of course, use my you have to use the embossing buddy or it just sticks everywhere. Um, and then you just give it a little flick. So I just put a little bit of glue every so often. I'm going to show you the card that I, I've made two variations of this card. So I'll show you them in a sec. And then we're going to make a third one because I think I'm going to incorporate the ribbon rather than the... Um, the tag, I think. All right, so we've got our net down. And then I'm going to have my little features here. So I've got my little, got my shell, a sort of more thick and detailed, bold shell, I guess I would call it. Grab this. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. And I've got my other shell that and I did cut two of these but I'm not sure this, you know sometimes you want to you don't want to put too many things on but that's four elements and sometimes five is nice so we could kind of tuck that up there maybe I like to lay it down just so we can see how we what we think let's move this down a titch so maybe you can see it a little bit better okay 
All right, so that's what we're going to sort of have so far. And then my original card had this on it. Okay. But I'm wondering if we should incorporate this instead. How about if I use this one just to show you the options? How about that? So I'm going to just deconstruct this a little bit, and then we can start putting these down. Again, you know, oops, that was a blob. Not good. Too much. Too much there. It's okay. We'll just put that down like that. Gently. Gently. I don't need to put it on every little bit of it. And I'm thinking, I think we sort of had this like this. Right? Sort of like that. I want to make sure I've got this where I want. I kind of got this like this and sort of... Mm -hmm. so it depends where those words are going to go. I think I might actually bring this over on top. Yeah, we'll see how that works. I'm thinking I like my prototype that I did earlier better, but that's okay. It's always fun to just play and change things up and see what you like. Right. Oop. My finger's got glue on it. There we go. Okay. Then we're gonna do this. Now <clears throat> I want I think this is too plain, so I gotta do something with this. So I have two ribbon choices. I've got this beautiful pool party. This is so pretty. This is like a sheer ribbon. It's three eighths of an inch. And you probably can't see it that much on here. But I think I'm going to try. Let's, you know, we can just play. I might just abandon this entirely at the end and go back to our label. But let's just have a little look at this. Hmm. Not sure I like the blue with it, but. Just tie a little knot just like that and whoop, there we go see how brave I'm getting I never used to do stuff like this on a live I'd be like oh god make it exactly like it and now I'm like yeah let's just play we're kind of here to play aren't we not to be perfect okay so there we go and then you could I think I'd be inclined to maybe turn that a little titch and then why not fray some of this give it a real like a shabby chic that's what I'd call it we've got gold here too yeah I'm gonna add a little bit of gold to the end of that would linen thread would work really well Mo it would look really cute yeah all of these are great ideas yes it would I think I'd like to tie in this gold just because that's sort of the accent on our so play around you guys and see what you like so that's kind of got the blue and the gold and then we've got our little shell I think I like that hmm, I think I like that now normally I would pop this up but because it's ribbon I'm not going to do that so that's just glue that down. And we can fray this in too. Well, you might not see it as much because you are going to be putting on, whoops, you are going to be putting on your um, little seashell. That's the thing I always say, right? I love my liquid glue, but I always forget that it, you need to give it a little bit of time to dry. So let's let that dry a bit take my cardstock and just clean up my little workspace here but let's pop up our seashell I've got glue on my fingers you guys oh my goodness making me crazy because it's sticking to things I don't want to I'm usually pretty good about not getting glue on myself but today I think I've I've uh I've done oh, I want to have it like that I think Okay, that's just taking a little bit longer to dry. You might want to use the um, stamp and seal or our fantastic um, 
tear, tear and tape, tear and tape. Yeah, tear and tape. That's what it's called. Okay. What do you think? So that's the card we did today versus, versus the card. This is the kind of the second and second one I did. I'll show you the first one in a sec. Let me raise this up. Oop. Let me raise my little gooseneck up. Come on, baby. Up you go. And straight. This is when I always say take your gravel. Okay, so that's that. Oh, I think I left a light on. That's the problem. There we go. That's better. Okay. So <clears throat> one we did. We're using the ribbon. This is the one we did. We used the tag. And then this was the first one that I did yesterday. So here's the differences. <clears throat> I used the other side of the designer series paper on this one. I added the netting I did in gold and in the petal pink. Okay. I added two seashells. One I just stamped and one I gold embossed. This is like a little conch uh, seashell, you know, like the ones you used to have at the ocean and put it up to your ear to hear. So a little bit more detail in this one. And then I added these, um, what are these called? I thought they kind of looked like mother of pearl. So I thought they kind of went with that. They are called iridescent rhinestones. So I thought that kind of looked nice. Anyway, I'm not sure which one I like better. I'll just put these two because these are similar, but that's kind of the two. One's got more of a gold, a lot more gold on it. And those in. there we go. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sure which one. I'm not sure. The blue does pop. Hi, Santana. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I think those both work, right? So if you haven't checked out that suite, um, do so. Won't be disappointed. Won't be disappointed. Now, last the other day, I was telling you guys about the next catalog launch party, and I was showing you some of the products, and I didn't have all the answers, but today I do. Keisha, you were asking. And somebody else was who I can't remember, but I've got some answers for you today. Okay. So my partner, Ange McKay, and I offer uh, monthly classes. And then once a quarter, we offer, or was it three times a year, we offer catalog launch parties. And so you, we talked earlier about your catalog that you'll be getting in the mail. Here we are. Mini catalog starts July 1st. We are going to be featuring these products in our launch party. So for our major, whoops, let's move this. For our major class, this will be on July the 23rd, we've got the Sweetest Christmas Suite. And I'm going to show you the products. We're going to be using the Sweet Candy Cane stamp set and the Candy Cane dies. And these are really great. These have two, these have this large background die, which I love. And also cuts out the candy canes and this really cool little label here. Okay. So we're going to be using those. Then we're also going to be using the Christmas banners and the Christmas banner dies. Okay. So those are the, the bundles that come in the sweetest Christmas. Okay. There'll be six cards in the class. We're also going to give you... Let me bring this in. Half a package of the designer series paper. Look how cute this is. Those dies cut out these candy canes. <clears throat> so cute. So you're going to get um, double what I'm showing you. Okay, so we've got this side and then we've got this side. Quite a traditional Christmas look, right? I'm going to get half a packet of that. You're going to get, oops, you're going to get, let me grab it, um, these embellishments. They are called adhesive back seasonal sequins, different colors in there. You're going to get some of the red and some of the green ribbon. You're not going to get a whole roll of each for the class, but you'll get, you know, 
I don't know what we haven't worked it out yet one or two yards okay you're gonna get a PDF which is gonna show you how to make the cards and you're gonna join us hopefully live on July 23rd um, where we're gonna put the cards together but if you can't join live that's okay you can um, join later so that class is $50 all right then we have add-on classes that we call them for the Sunday and Keisha you were asking can you take the classes without joining the launch? And the answer is yes. Okay. So we, what we've done is we've got two pricing um, levels. So I'm going to be doing a class on kindest gnomes. Isn't this cute? So cute. It's from the Storybook Gnomes Suite. You're going to get the stamp set as part of the class. Oops, let me hold this up. Sometimes that light just shines, eh? Aren't they the cutest? Look at them. So you're going to get the um, the stamp set. Now the dies, there is dies that come with it. The gnome dies, here they are. And we always offer a special where we sell you the dies as part of the class at a reduced price. I don't know what the prices of the die is right now. Um, let me look it up and I'll tell you how much those will be because I can figure it out on the fly here. We're going to be making our samples this week and sharing and taking registrations for those. So those are called gnome dies. That only makes sense. And aren't you glad that they put them in alphabetical order in that index at the back so you can easily find them? They'll be the regular 43. They'll be 40. No shipping, no tax on that. So there we go. Okay. Now here's a fantastic DSP. Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. You could use this with other things. You could just use the the, the dies will cut out the um, gnomes. But look at this. Oh my gosh. The moose and the caribou. Oh my goodness. The deer. Little toadstools. So cute. And then here's the other side. The die will cut out these toadstools too. Then you've also got traditional kind of snowflakes and whatnot. Love that. That's class number one. So that is $40. Four cards includes the stamp set. If you don't attend the launch, the class is 50. So it's just a slightly more. We give it a little deal for people who attend um, the class. There's also these fantastic fine sparkle adhesive back gems that are part of that suite. And this ribbon, which is, what color is this? Just says double stitched. I'm sure in the catalog it'll tell me what color. But you've got, it's almost like, um, oh, I don't know how I would describe that. So I won't. But it's got this nice blue raised satin middle, okay, on the white. So you could use either side. You could just leave it white. And what else? Puff paint. Do you remember puff paint, you guys? from years ago look at this it's back snowfall accent puff paint now to use this and i'll be using it on some clock cards in july um you it goes on like liquid but when you heat it with your heat tool it puffs up and it's really cool so we'll be showing you how to use that gnome is so cute okay so that's class number one <clears throat> the second class on the 24th of july uses the christmas scotty oops stamp set and the matching punch and class again is forty dollars comes with the stamp set we give you a deal on the punch i don't know it's probably 24 so it'll probably be like 20 20 or 22 no shipping or taxes on it and um well there's shipping because it'll all be shipped to you but you get the idea um four cards forty dollars same thing However, if you just want to take the Christmas Scotty class and the gnomes class and not the launch, you, it's $50 for each class. Okay, so hopefully I made I, that makes sense to you guys. And let's see, we've been voting. Okay, so what do we vote? Um, the one is my favorite, the one you did this morning. Okay, so Jacqueline is more for this one. Mo likes both, Kathy likes both. Donna likes both, you guys are so cute. You're just so easy to please. Hi, Carol, you popped in there. I didn't see you. Okay. Anyway, those are the cards for today. Let's go back over here and clear my desk so I can get to back to me. Here we are. Oh, there we are. <laughs> All right. 
gosh, thanks again, you guys, for coming today. I hope you check out the Texture Chic Suite in the annual catalog because, as Cindy pointed out, you get a lot of fun. You get a lot of bang for your buck with the stamps and the dies. Um, eight, 19 dies, she said. I forgot to mention that, so that's great. Okay, you guys. Uh, oh, we're a little over today. Thanks for sticking with me. I will see you all again on Wednesday. So Wednesday at 3 o'clock, we'll meet back here and we'll make another card together. Thanks so much. Have a great day. And um, if you're celebrating Father's Day with your fathers or your husbands, um, have a great rest of the afternoon. Okay, bye.